Don't miss the opportunity to let a person know you care about them every day of your life. There's no guarantee you'll see the sun tomorrow, right? Flowers, champagne, walk the beach, back massage, cooking porridge. You do not get lazy. I was in Indiana, beautiful woman like yourself, sitting there, her husband sitting right next to him. And I said, the woman, I said, do you like flowers? And she went, yeah. I said, does your husband ever give you flowers? And she went, no. Yeah, but it was sad. And I turned to the guy. I said, sir, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. You came here to have a good time. But your wife, she's very beautiful. Got a sparkle in her eye. Put a smile on her face if you gave her flowers. Why don't you give her any? Without missing a beat, he said, cause neighbors don't grow none. I can't write that well. <laughs> as much as I dig women, I got to say this. I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm married. I have a beautiful wife, the kind of woman that when you walk down the street, people go, what is she doing with him? You know what I'm talking about, Robbie. But anyway, <clears throat> um, <laughs> but yeah, and, and I really, I tr I'm madly in love with her. She's a wonderful woman, <clears throat> and I miss her a lot because I'm on the road. In fact, I miss her so much I went on bought a GPS so I could have somebody else to tell me how to drive. Um, <laughs> I married a deeply religious woman. She doesn't believe in postmarital sex. But, um, <laughs> and I was sincere when I said I don't do drugs. Never have. I have one vice. I like champagne. I like, my problem is I don't know when to quit drinking and I start chasing ugly women, but enough about why I can't go back to Arkansas. But I, um, <laughs> I live with one girl that uh, did cocaine. I stayed away from all that shit. I lost a lot of good friends with that stuff. So I never did it. But I have one girlfriend I lived with that did cocaine. You wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, she'd be cutting the grass. Um, <laughs> yeah. With a pair of scissors. But um, <laughs> my last girlfriend was having an affair with her boss. I guess you could say she's under new management. But you know what? I don't think it gets any easier. I got friends of mine go through four or five marriages, divorces, trying to get their life together. Alcohol, drugs, trying to get their life together. Then they get spiritual, and there's nothing wrong with that, but they look stupid when they drive down the road in the car with a bumper sticker and says, God is my co-pilot, and the whole right side of the car is all bashed in. 